If all this color science feels really intimidating to you, every camera manufacturer will supply their solution to go from their log to display space, to something like Rec. 709. So right here, uh, this LUT is Blackmagic's uh, Gen 5 color science to Rec. 709 LUT. And then what you can do is just make adjustments upstream of that node. If you do do this, right, right now, uh, we're essentially gonna be working in the Gen 5 color science for Blackmagic. I would encourage you, whatever, your, whatever space you're gonna be working in, go ahead and update it to that. So for, for us, I would do the, uh, the Gen 5 color science. I would select that and hit save. The really big thing you want to avoid is using LUTs that don't match the correct input. So this is Blackmagic Gen 5 color science. Uh, let's say that you really like uh, airy cameras. I've just seen instances where someone will drop, you know, like an airy LUT or they'll say, "Ooh, I want this to look filmic. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over to the uh, the film looks in Resolve and uh, drop this LUT on there. And oh, you know, it feels a little too much. So I'm going to, you know, back out the gain a little bit. Just, you know, decrease the opacity on that. Please, for the love of all that is holy, don't do that. You will get yourself into so much trouble if you are feeding LUTs the wrong input.